So, uh, this is a. Uh, just show you. <coughs> this is a fluence. Uh, move the motor, which is uh, it's actually over here. It's got a fault on it, but I can still use it for experimentation reasons. I've got the armature there. And I'm going to take out the battery, which is this bit. Now these are designed to be removed by machines from the outside as well. Yeah. And what you've got is, this is a standard nut, uh, which is a, let's see, you've got a, a 19 mil. So it's a 19 mil socket, but you'll need a, a long one. That, that I didn't use that actually, but you need a long one because you've got to get it over this. Okay, so that'll get that off. One, two, three, and this one's with it removed. Four, right? And then you've got this, which is called a. What did I look? I'm trying to look up to see what it's called, and it's it's either a spline, a spline, a spline nut, as if it were, or something else they call it, like a set bolt or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm trying to find a tool which will remove it. It's actually got nine uh, face, let me just put the flash on, can you put the flash on this thing? Oh, there you go. All right. Okay, so I'll just get it to see if it'll focus, but I mean, you can see that clear enough there, can't you? and get it to focus. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's actually got nine points. Yeah. Right, and it's an internal, it's like the, these are internally facing, right? And the outside is smooth. And so I was thinking, okay, I might be able to get a vice grip on it and turn it. No, just won't turn it. And it's not capable. You need a long, a long, a long throw one. Right, so the strategy that I've got is going to be to either get a large socket or a large nut and basically weld it on there, perhaps a nut and then I can use a socket on it and weld it onto it and if I make sure it's a strong enough weld then that means I can remove it and that's my strategy because I cannot find the tool to do this. You know this is 2018 They've long since given up on these things. The rental contract, nobody's chasing people for uh, the rental on these fluences and kangoos. It's just basically a dead, right? It's a dud car now. You know, Renault, Renault completely disowned it. And for the good reason. It's because these blooming motors weren't well designed. And they failed. And that's, my assessment is that's the reason. And also they used, they were quite expensive lease agreements on the batteries. You can't knock them because this is a first generation electric car, basically. A first generation uh, family electric car. You know, we had the G Wizzes, see one there, <laughs> and stuff like that. But this was before we had uh, Nissan Leaf, I believe. And although this is a 2012 one, these date back earlier than those. And so this was their first attempt. And obviously, the first attempt is never going to work out brilliantly, is it? And it didn't. They had the better place guys who were going to do the battery swapping and they were going to put battery swapping stations everywhere except for that never turned out because they went bust. And then there's this fault with the motor, the famous BCI, battery charge impossible, because they put it in the firmware to disable charging when it detects, um, when it detects a, uh, a short basically on the windings um, because it says there's a fault in the motor. So consequently, these things are a, a dead dog now, and Renault don't don't follow up on the contracts. This one I bought relatively cheaply, just because I wasn't going to experiment with the motor, and it's died. So.